Hi, this is Mark from LogOnWatch.com, and today we're going to have ourselves a Loom battle. Uh, one of the later videos I did was on a new brand of Loom Tech, who obviously has Loom in the name. Watches are very bright at night. Uh, and But people commented, ah, it's pretty bright, but how does it compare to, you know, like a Seiko or, or something with Luma Bright in it as opposed to Super Luminova? So I said, okay, well, let's do a quick time-lapse comparison. So I'll do a Loom Tech watch. I'll do uh, right up to the top of the line and go, go to a Marine Master. And maybe a, an SKX or something just for kind of, you know, I guess control comparison purposes. And we'll watch it over time. Not going to do a full, full eight hours. Not going to do it for that long. It should be pretty clear after, you know, a little bit of time who the winner is going to be. And I'm not looking for who emits, you know, I'm not going to be measuring from an engineering perspective the actual amount of light that's emitted. I'm just going to do a comparison, you know, who's the brightest for the longest uh, for my own wrist check a while ago. I asked for recommendations on my Matic Blue, and a bunch of you said, or one person in particular said, get yourself a Barton white silicone strap. You know, I said white, but the person recommended an actual part. So I bought it. Uh, it's not a sponsor. I'm not sponsoring it. I'm not endorsing the product, but it is amazing. Very affordable, very comfortable, and it looks awesome with the white part of the bezel. Uh, it's very summer. That's what I was looking for. And then, whoops, the... The uh, Pepsi GMT bezel without the GMT hand, I'm still rocking that one. Uh, let's set up and uh, do a little loom test. Okay, so the way I've got this set up is I have the loom tech here, the Marine Master here, SKX here. They've all been baking under the lights for a couple minutes or so, so I'm fairly certain that they are all at their maximum charge. So what I'll do is I'll cut out the lights, and then I'm going to do a time lapse uh, probably take photos about every 30 seconds or so, let it run its course, and, uh, and then we'll come back with the results. I am going to fix all the settings of the camera so that the camera does not try to increase or decrease its sensitivity to light as, uh, you know, as the time goes on so that we really get a true test of everything. So I'm pretty certain I'm going to have to review the results, uh, but I'm fairly certain it was the Marine Master for the win that went the distance. Um, it was a little bit under an hour, this whole thing. I, you know, again, when I edit it, I'll be putting all the times into it, um, all, all the time-lapse footage. I, certainly, I saw this guy go out first, uh, but I got to admit, the Loom Tech really held on uh, for a very long, uh, a good a good run it gave uh, but like I said I think the marine master edged it out just a little bit anyway this has been Mark from longhourwatch.com showing you a little loom test please like the video if you enjoyed it please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so if you have any questions or comments put them down below and I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can thank you for watching bye bye